Asset Forge also supports custom blocks in the OBJ format. This means that we can build custom meshes in Maya, Blender, or any other tool that supports the OBJ export format to be used within Asset Forge. We can even use Asset Forge itself to build preset blocks and add them back as custom blocks. Now let's start building two simple car assets within Asset Forge, and then we'll export those to OBJ format and re-import them into Asset Forge. Let's build out our first truck vehicle. We'll go to the Vehicle tab, grab a front end of our car followed by a truck pickup bed, and finally our center seat section. Next, grab our wheels and make sure you have the same wheels for both sides. Do the same for the other side of the vehicle and mirror the original wheels with the H key to properly show the wheel details. Now that our first vehicle is complete, we'll export that to the OBJ format. Merging does not matter within Asset Forge. However, we will merge in case we bring this file into a different 3D CAD tool like Maya. Click the Save File button. Go to your Asset Forge installation folder and go to the Collections folder with Inside. Inside the Collections folder, create a new folder with the name of your custom collection. I will be naming mine Pre-Built Cars. Refresh the folder in Asset Forge and name your new asset. Because the materials are exported with the OBJ format, we can change the material colors of the car, and those colors will stay with the OBJ asset when imported back into Asset Forge. Let's create a new material for our red car and apply that to our vehicle. Swap out the middle section and add a truck cab, and paint that red as well. Export our new red truck into the same collection subfolder called Pre-Built Cars. Now restart Asset Forge to get the new custom blocks loaded. Scroll through the Asset Explorer and find our pre-built car's custom blocks. Test by bringing in both custom assets into the viewer. This example shows building out a full asset, but what about when we want to build our own individual custom building blocks? For this, we'll use Maya. Blender or SketchUp are also viable alternatives. It's important to note that Asset Forge maximum block size is one cubic meter. Larger is always possible, but not recommended. Also, the UV maps that are generated will be overwritten by Asset Forge, so all meshes should be in the root hierarchy without using any groups. Finally, the pivot point should be in the center and the floor of your block. First, I'll import a basic block primitive that is exported from Asset Forge to give us a sense of any difference in scale. This shows the block primitive from Asset Forge matches Maya's centimeter units, which we can confirm by creating a default block in Maya. Within Maya, we'll build out a few quick train locomotive building blocks to bring into Asset Forge as our custom collection. First, let's build out a quick main body section and add a quick bevel to it. Next, we'll build out two front cab sections, both a single one cubic centimeter in size. For the first, I'll create a sleek aerodynamic style body cab. I'll do so by extruding the mesh faces and adding additional new edges to the mesh body. I'll also narrow down the front section to give it a smoother, curved look. Once I'm happy with the design of the cab, I'll scale the mesh down to fit within the one cubic meter of the size guidelines mentioned earlier. This will match the other Asset Forge default block sizes. For the second, I'll create a more blocky locomotive, taking inspiration from the F40PH locomotive body style. The F40PH was initially built back in the mid-1970s, hence the less aerodynamic styling. I'll also add some additional edges to the mesh again, to help express the hard edge lines that this locomotive had. Once we're happy with our model, we'll scale this down to fit our standard scaling size 
of our other blocks, which is one cubic centimeter. Now let's start exporting our locomotive building blocks out to the OBJ format. In Maya, we'll select our mesh that we want to export and go to File, Export Selection, because we have multiple meshes within our Maya scene. I'll create a new folder for our OBJ exports called Locomotives, and I'll name the first Body Locomotive Body. Next, grab our second mesh body and do the same. File, Export Selection, naming this one Aerodynamic Cab. One last time, we'll grab the last mesh body and go to File, Export Selection, and name this one F40PH Cab. Once we've exported all of our OBJ locomotive blocks, we will need to copy that collection folder over to Asset Forward's installation folder and go to the subfolder called Collections. Here, we can add our custom collection locomotive folder. Now that we've copied our custom collection folder over, we can relaunch Asset Forward. Once launched, we can navigate to our custom locomotives collection in the Asset pane and start dragging and dropping them into our scene. Quickly build out a locomotive cab with the main body, and we can use the aerodynamic cab as our tail section. Also, if you notice that the asset thumbnails are not showing correctly, you can fix that by going to Configuration and clicking Clear Thumbnail Cache. Relaunch Asset Forge one more time, and the thumbnails will properly render, showing you a preview of your custom blocks. Now we can build out custom blocks in Maya and import them into Asset Forge for quick asset prototyping and building. In the next video, we will explore importing our built-out game assets from Asset Forge into Unreal Engine.